Today, you guys, I will be showing you guys how to decorate your graduation cap. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to wait for the glue gun to get heated. Um, these are the flowers that I'm using. Um, I've already cut the little ends off of these flowers. Um, these are another set of flowers right here that I was gonna use, but because the um actual paper i wanted was gold but i couldn't find any gold paper that was um, big enough so i ended up getting pink which is my favorite color anyway so um i think this would be a little bit too much pink so i'm not going to use these but i am going to use these and these have like a little hint of pink at the bottom so it kind of it blends in well and then i also have these white flowers that i'm going to use so they came on a stem and all i did literally was pull these off all i did was just they were on here like that and i just pulled them off um i got the flowers from dollar tree because i'm trying to spend a whole bunch of money on the flowers <laughs> um they really have a good selection of flowers so definitely check out dollar tree and also hobby lobby has a really good selection of flowers they have really nice flowers and they have 50 percent off on their stuff too I'm going to add these on here, like little rhinestones, little di bling diamonds, or whatever. Um, I really think this is, is going to like kind of make it more sparkly and shiny. Um, I also have another pack, but it's more of a um, pink, but I'm not going to use these. I'm not going to use these because there's too much pink going on here. And I, I don't want it to be tacky looking so I think I'm gonna just stick to these to put um, on my cap and then the letters that I'm gonna use I got these letters from Walmart I'm, I want to use gold letters but I don't know how this is gonna look on top of this pink because it's, both of these are glitter letters um, I mean both of these are glitter so the paper is glitter and then the letters are glitter. I don't know if it's going to be too much glitter. So I may have to take these back and get black. Or just plain black instead of glitter. So we'll see. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and glue on the flowers. Because these are the flowers I definitely am going to use. And this is the hot glue gun that I have, you guys. I'm just going to... I hope these flowers aren't too big because they kind of look like they're too big but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work so i'm just like putting the glue a little bit of glue on this little green part here as i paste it on the um, paper and i know that i need to hurry up because this is And the flowers are going to go like this. How I kind of want it. I want it to be like that. And then the white ones I'm going to add on the side like that. They're going to kind of trail off on the end. Like that. So they're going to kind of be like that. Trail off on the ends like that.
six and a half hours later. Okay, as you can see guys, this is how it's looking with the flowers on there. The words are gonna go across here. But this is how it looks so far. So I'll, I'm gonna have to go and return this because I was thinking that I could just peel these off individually. I probably could though. Man, these are like stuck together. Yeah, so these are stuck together. Like it's supposed to be like a, I guess I'm supposed to like wrap around like a base or something. So these are the wrong gems. I'm gonna have to go and go get some more. I was trying to see if I could probably like just stick it on here like this and just like stick it around. But then I don't know. It's not gonna be cute like that. So that was not didn't go very well. I had planned. So for now, you guys, I'm just gonna put this on the hat so y'all can see how it looks on top of the hat. So this is how it looks on top of the head, y'all. This is the head. <laughs> and this is how it looks on top of the head. Well, I actually want to be this way. I just gotta glue this part down on the head, but I'm not gonna glue the actual paper down on the head yet until after I'm done with the words and everything else. But this is what I have so far. And I will show you guys my finished results after I'm done. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys. found this video helpful um I really this is my first time doing this so I really tried to be creative and just be different instead of paying somebody to do this for me I never done this before so it is something to do something creative and it's a, a good experience um I do recommend that you have the right tools for this type of project um I didn't have everything that I needed I worked with what I had um, as far as like a cutting board to like cut perfect edges off the paper um, and it's down to like cutting the little circle out here off here it's not perfect you guys as you can see it's like cricket it's not even perfect but it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna get some stuff to put on here so make it all glittery and pretty but again you guys I want to thank you guys for watching this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll be back to show you guys my results and thank you guys.